Go. Go. Mm-mm. Bone apple tea, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I hate myself. I brought some maple syrup. Wait, I gotta see if this has gone bad. <laughs> Technically speaking, yes, it has gone bad. But maple syrup, it, it's, uh, it takes a while for it to expire. So let me take a sip. It still smells good. Ooh. Mmm. I mean, it smells good. It tastes pretty good too. Let's see the expiry date for this one. 2020 of April. Two years. It's nothing. I gotta put a disclaimer though. Uh, just in case uh, people are naive enough. Don't try this at home. There we go. Just in case. Don't be like me. Mmm. Okay. It smells... It smells kind of peppery. I think it might be because I added pepper. Mmm. Come pie. Oh, okay. It's a... <laughs> I didn't I didn't drink enough. Let me let me have one more sip. Come pie. It's a, it's a little more watery than I want. So yeah, honestly, this tastes a little bland, but it, it was kind of hard to blend it without more water, so I had to keep adding water. Maybe that's why. Maybe I should just get a better blender. I, I feel like if I add less water, it might be maybe a little less disgusting. Who knows? So let's... I, I should not smell it. it the, the reason why it's even more disgusting is because uh, it looks really watery. This was my first attempt. Yeah, this was my first sandwich to blend. And it came out really, really watery. So, uh, yeah, it, it's a little disgusting. It's it's pretty disgusting. However, the smell, the smell is exactly like the teriyaki sandwich that I eat. Which is why it's very disgusting. Because it has the smell of the sandwich that I like, but in water form. Okay. Huh, come by, guys! <laughs> Down the hatch! That was, that was pretty chunky! That was pretty chunky! I'm sorry, the, the texture was so disgusting that I couldn't drink it. Um, let me, let me try that again. My body is rejecting it like... Like it's some toxic waste and it's trying to reject it from getting into my system, but... I know. I know. Oh god, it's stuck in my teeth! <laughs> okay, attempt number two. Down the hatch. Oh, this was pretty bad. Oh, this is pretty bad. Okay, if, you, if you're curious about the taste, you've never tried it before. It's kind of like a slightly flavored water with a strong aftertaste of that food with some chunks. Porridge, at least, it's not watery. It's- this is like complete water. Like, it's- it's watered down. Porridge, at least, you can chew on it. There's still some texture left. With this, it's just water. And I think the chunky bits has gone down to the bottom. But if you shake it up a bit, you might taste it. So think of it like putting random bits of vegetables and chicken or whatever in your water all right all right let's let's take a smell the onion is very strong in this one yeah just mostly mostly onions maybe some some peppers like green peppers okay come by <laughs> the BGM is nice. Mm. <laughs> so it's 
sorry. I just keep... Uh, there's like this gag reflex that keeps coming in. It's like a... It's, it's like dystopia. It's like hell. Hell is inside. <laughs> sorry, I, I just read a super chat um, that made me a little sick. Do you want to try combining all three with maple syrup for one last taste? Uh, yeah, sure. Um... Huh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it smells like the steak and cheese. The, the onion is quite strong. The smell of the onion is pretty strong, but also the meatball. It's, it doesn't smell like normal food. It smells like regurgitated sandwich. And then someone put your, your vomit into a blender. Oh, sorry. So, actually, actually, when I added the maple syrup, it actually makes it a little more tolerable. After drinking it, it tastes more like teriyaki. It tastes more like liquidized teriyaki sandwich with the maple syrup because it's sweetened, so it feels like the teriyaki sauce is added when in reality is just maple syrup. It's very interesting, but the smell is really, really off-putting. The taste is not as bad as which one? Which one was the bad one? They they were all pretty bad. Um, I think teriyaki. Yeah, in comparison to the original teriyaki, it tastes more like teriyaki. Maybe if I warm it up and it had the water a bit less, a bit more or less. Maybe it could have tasted better. However, I will never try this again. And also... Oh, <gasps> uh, sorry. Just try to uh, pull myself back. So I will never try this again. So that is... That is it, everyone. The takeaway from this stream is don't try it at home. Don't, don't try it. Don't ever try it. Don't waste food like this. It's disgusting. Don't ever do it, guys. It's a bad idea. And I know some people have already tried it. But you know what? That's not my fault. That's your fault.